Hello everyone, welcome back to another PvP video. In today's video, I'm going to be trying out the brand new Festival Deanne Relic. Of course, I am free to play, so, you know, maybe it was a mistake me making the Relic, but I don't think it was. So, I'm going to be trying it with a few teams. Uh, we've got Deanne, of course, for damage reduction, and what her Relic does, let me show real quick, is that whenever she applies a stance, she increases allies' damage up by 30% for two turns. Even though, if she pops to level 2, it's still only two turns, even though the Dawn is three turns. We'll go with her for stat buffs, uh, this relic as well is very useful, especially for damage increased, it also increases HP with its passive as well, uh, DPS, and then bond to lower the enemy's stats and to increase our attack related stats. So, I do want to try this with a few teams, uh, this will be one of them, uh, Escanor, then I'll try another team with Pug, I definitely want to try uh, Escanor and Melee, depending on how the video goes, well depends on if I uh, switch up, maybe try Rimuru, or try... Uh, first king, or just try something like that. Anyway, uh, before the video starts, 90% of you are not subscribed. I know it's the first time I've ever done this, but please subscribe, it helps out my channel, and a lot of people recently have been coming to my channel, and I appreciate all the, the recent support. Anyway, uh, let's get into the video. This is my third match, but it'll be the first match you see in the video, because all I keep versing is barn of Asian food. Oh my god, just give me a game where I'm not versing this, I swear, it's so irritating. Every game is just a stall fest, and it's a while. Oh, yay. Oh, it's a while. So much fun. It's a bot, it's a bot whale. 214kcc. That is, that's sad, man. I just, I'm just not getting like anything. Oh, I'm screwed. I'm just pushing the anzol. It's gonna try. It's gonna do the trick. It's a wait. It's probably whales. I'm probably gonna die immediately because it's, it's a whale out thing. No, the just hungry today. So if I kill Barn, I'm pretty sure. 6-6 six, six is your mile 6 it's bro. It's kind of sad how much money people spend on this game. If you if you make content out of it and you make money out of it, then yeah, sure. But if you're not doing anything out of it, it's kind of sad in my opinion. Because money can't get you skill. Not that I have any skill. Zeldris, yeah, to be expected. That's perfect. That's actually perfect. Because now means I don't have to deal with bloody crappy insane high stats because he has no one else with uh, buffs. Casual, melee, level 1. Or 2. That's level 2. Survive, please, Deanne. I need you to survive here. Thank you. Thank you, Deanne. Thank you, Deanne. So, okay, now I can showcase like stupidly broken damage with Eskinal. Uh I'm gonna AoE and I want a single target just for the increased healing. Damage increase. Yeah, level one card at half HP. Fun. <laughs> this is a six six Eskinal. I should be fine though, because this should like melt him. Maybe death damage kills as well. 78k death damage. That's what I want to see. He's going to play that card, so let me take a merge to a gold here. Should be fine. Uh, he will die, but that's fine. Because now I can kill her. I just want to play a game where I just don't verse Barn. Like, one game, please. Like, it's just not fun. Just the Zeldris in back, and their stats are like millions high. I'm also, actually, I'm probably going to switch out Barn for Zeldris in back. Just for the... I will lose a, a chunk of CC, but I'd rather gain the stats instead. Pain. It's done. That's a bot. Yeah, it's like what? How much money do you have to spend to get that as your bot? It's insane. Anyway, on to the next match. This will hopefully be the second match if it's not on the barn. Oh my god. ICB8. No, 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 no. no. I'm not playing that, I'm not playing that, I'm not playing that. Okay, so I've turned to the dark side. I'm now using Barn. Oh my god, please, can I just burst a normal team? 
not asking for much. Deanne's got the mark, it literally means nothing, Gizlane. A double infect. It's completely fine with me. I want to kill Rimuru though. They've definitely got evade food on, and I've just wasted my Eskinari away, but that's fine. They don't. They've got HP food on. Defense food? Any food? All oh, those crits so juicy, man. Now they got an Anoshian back because they won't have that much stats unless, unless they had an Anoshian back. Yeah, I know. It's pretty obvious. If they rush rumor result, I'm just going to kill them. Are they going to remove stance? Yeah. I forgot she can do that. The level 1 cards. Even though I use her pretty frequently for videos. Going for barn. Fair, fair, fair. Well, you're dead, sir. Goodbye. Uh, we're gonna do this, this, and if that doesn't work, we'll use Escanor. Barn, big damage from Barn. That's how I feel every time I burst a Barn, mate, don't worry. Big damage now. Big, big damage. Going for Gizlane, that's probably the worst person you can target right now. He's still critting, though. So I've removed one, I've removed one infect, and I've just gotta remove the other. I absolutely hate versing. Hate versing echidnas. It's so tanky. Okay, they're rushing echidnas up. I guess echidnas dead next. I was about to make the most rookie mistake ever. I think Bond might actually die here. Yeah, here's yeah, card. They do so much damage, even with like so much damage reduction. Well, she is dead. Um, I could actually go for Barnes ult. Well, I'm not gonna. This person is obviously not very happy. Given the DM. Oh, there we go. Barn casual one shots now because he's now super buff. Can you just target the <laughs> target the blue character man? One with no red Tommy or Link. Oh, Gizlane's dead now. But this is what I mean. I have to verse people like trying to use like not even a metric This is actually like an actual proper team. Gizlane's very good, but I just don't think running to DPS, semi-DPS is going to work nowadays, especially with Barn. And, you know, the stupid stat increases as well, it's just pain. But anyway, I'm going to switch to P Melly now, because I've had enough of using Eskinor. I, I just actually want a good match, please. Like, where I actually pull the Antorns, and where I don't just get railed by a Whale Demon team. Or a Barn. And attack Disabled team. That was trying to go first. Okay. So, I had an idea, right, where I just push, I, I should be able to kill him, hopefully. Because I don't, don't think she had Tommy or did she have Tommy or She doesn't have Tommy or okay, I should be fine, she should die. Cool, she's dead. She's the real threat. Out of Gotha and uh, Merlin, Merlin's real Rex, Merlin can lower all gauge. Menashian back with outfits. That's a yikes from me. I'm pretty sure I can't. I'm pretty sure my Dian can't be killed. I've got a lot of damage reduction. I might even patience this. No, but they have they have the Nashi, but they are attack lowered. We'll find out in a second. Please, I beg it, patience. <laughs> Eskinor outfits. This person spends a lot of money on one team. Something you shouldn't really do. <laughs> so I had two sets of damage reduction. Barnes attack lower. Zeldris's attack lower. The, the stats from Zeldris. <laughs> that was a fun match. I enjoyed that. I want more like that.
To be honest, the more I actually, the more I actually use Deanne's relic, the more I realise it's probably a PVE relic more than a PVP relic. Like it's cool, don't get me wrong, it's good in PVP, but I just think it would probably excel more somewhere else. Of course, you got that disease with Red Tommy Link. Um, I'm not even going to use the relic. I just want to try and kill Barn. I don't want to have to deal with like a million debuffs. I don't want to get rid of the damage reduction ASAP. Melee should be able to kill her. He's got like low HP now. There you go. Just about Melee. Go on. Just about. There we go. We've now removed the biggest threat, which is Barn. Zeldris. That's fine. Now I just got to kill. Oh! I can't rush Ultimo because he's just going to lower my stats. Not lower my stats, but lower my ult gauge with Merlin. So he's going to rush Merlin's ult. Okay then. Final me. Uh, I'm just going to do Deanne's stance. <laughs> Increase damage. This. And then I'm just going to lower her crit chance. Make her struggle to crit even more. Go on, big damage. It's type advantage. 60k, not bad. Lower her crit chance so she can't crit either. They attack me once, I get big damage from melee. Big, big damage from melee. Pushing from. They really want to get her ultimate. They really want that, that Merlin ult. They're gonna have to attack me. Um, you can rush. He's, he's, he's dissolved. He's not gonna be able to do anything. Goes for this. That will then cleanse my melee, so I won't need to attack. Yeah, I can't be attack disabled this time. Ghost <laughs> Rise can as well. That's fine. Dian would just suck that lot. Tasty. Now what I do, I just do this. Remove her old gauge. And we try and wipe the squad. Zeldris' relic is really impactful. It's really irritating to deal with. I have another Deanne card, so... Not too fast. If I could just keep getting Deanne cards, I should be fine. That's fine, I mean. No, don't put burn on him. AoE should be too much. We're just about critting, so yeah. I don't, I don't think this person has many weapons for Eskinol. He's just about critting. Um, do this, do this, and then do this. This, will give, this won't give me the Anzol, but it'll get me close to our ultimate. This will then remove her, which will then make sure that the debuffs then disappear. As long as I don't have to deal with uh, Zeldris' passive or relic, because he requires debuffs to actually be useful. I was going to lose a lot of HP now. Yep. Yeah. He's 192k HP, because he just lost half of it. Still, he's got a lot of HP still. You're rushing first, not all now. It's fine with me. I'm just going to stance up, remove all gauge. <laughs> Deanne's just gonna eat this. Deanne is so tanky, especially when you've got like Zeldris increasing attack. Yeah. Mel Melee's definitely probably the way to go if you're gonna use the Deanne relic. Just the insane damage reduction, especially with Barn. Like this team here is very good, mainly because you've got the damage reduction, you've then got more damage reduction. Like Melee currently has 80% damage reduction on this team. And that, that, that doesn't then include then the stats he gets from Zeldris, which is insane. And the HP related stats he then gets from Barn. Like this team is very good. Obviously, there probably is better teams, but that's just my favorite one. Now I'm going to try on to King now. I'll try uh, the Chad King, see how good he is. Okay, so now we're on to King. Hopefully, this is a good match. Hopefully, I go first, because I do want to go first when I call King. Another King? King is a really rare like person to find, and I actually found one. So I will be... Uh... Actually, I can remove him from critting. Yeah, no crits for you, pussy. Of course, unless they have a bait food. Which they don't. Now we should get this. They increase stats. Okay. 
ping as well, plus the damage reduction. I'm only, th th this team's probably like very good for damage reduction because of course I've got a lot of debuffs. I've got, you know, damage reduction, damage reduction, bonds, damage reduction. I don't see how good it is at tanking. Okay, I was actually hoping it was going to be a single I don't see how much damage I take. That's not much at all. Obviously, I removed King's ability to crit, which was probably the best idea I could have done. Um, do this. Uh, we'll do this. Uh, that, which will then break the shield. Does anybody have Rotomio? You don't, you don't, and you don't. Okay. Fire with me. I get King's ult. King is still crit lowered as well. Oh, yes, another Dian stance. Now, I want to see how much damage I can do with the course with the Dian stance. Is they, I think it's going to go for a tr attempt to go. I think it's a bot. It's going to go try to go for an attack disable or something. No, it isn't. It is a bot, though. It's pretty easy to tell. If I run resistance food with this team, this team might actually be pretty good. I don't want to accidentally kill the king, so I'm going to do this. Please don't kill king. Oh. I want to see how much damage I can get my king's ult to do. He's only 4-6, but he still should do a hell of a lot of damage. 471k, that's pretty low to be honest for nowadays standards. Ball on the back. Not too bad. Snatch. Yeah, it's a bot. A normal player would not do that. Uh, I'll just do this. Uh, can't even get Eskinol's ult anyway. Sorry, I'm Bond's ult. Uh, I'll just do that. I'll just do this. I kind of wish... I, I, I kind of miss the days when uh, King was meta. Like, not like meta when he was like with Keo and Zelda and all that kind of stuff, but when he was like a natural decent unit to run. Now he's more of a PvE character, like a Patience P PvE character team. Yeah, this, this poor bot doesn't even know what to do. I lost my damage increase. Give me it back. How much CC did this bot have? So I think he had decently high CC. Crazy rush. Big damage. 90k with Diana isn't too bad, to be honest. Bear in mind, she's meant to be your tank character. How much CC was that? Yeah, that team could have CC'd me if that had CC food. To us, Goat has a lot of CC, Eskadron has a lot of CC, King has a lot of CC, so it does explain it. Anyway, on to the next match. This will be the final match. If it's a good one. Oh, another high CC team. Which I go first? Uh, everyone's using Fred Gotha now. Why is that? So I made a video using Red Gotha or something. Uh, no crits for you. Actually, no, no. I want to save that for melee. And I'll just do this, this, and this. Damage increase. Decent damage for turn one. Type neutral. King will, of course, always do decent damage because it's king. Okay, now I can... Snipe someone. Oh, I might be able to. I want to try and see if I can one shot Melly now. Yeah, it'll always go for the rank up on Eskinor. I don't know why. Double rank up. No. Patience. <laughs> this team is not too bad for patience. I'm not gonna lie. Like, even that, Deanne's. Like, my. My king has, like, no outfits, right? So it's pretty obvious the reason he took a lot of damage there. But still. Do you want? I just go for Deanne's support. This is a Dian video after all. I do want to remove Gotha. Bye bye Gotha. King and back, yeah, this is CC team. Should be fine. The bot is just rushing or not. Okay, fair enough. 
Dian ate that, which is good. Dian, uh, yeah, yeah, she's just gonna eat this as well. Dian's very good at just eating like big damage cards. I don't know why, but I feel like she feels a lot more tanky now. I don't know if that's because, of course, I do have a lot of damage rushing characters on this team. Don't get me wrong, but I just feel like she just feels way like way tankier than what she used to. Um, I'm gonna ult, or do I just go for the kill on Melly first? Go for like this, that, just just to lower his HP a chunk. Actually, no, I'm doing this. Do this, then I'm gonna ult to get an extra extra few debuffs for Bon. And maybe it will kill uh, Melly in the process. Big damage. Come on, big damage, Dian. Big damage. You are 6-6. Six, six. Big damage. Nearly everyone died. Okay, so now she can choose who she wants to kill. Sorry, he Bard wants to kill uh, Escanor. Fair enough. Send him to Final Flame, which is good. So, he, they, he, they do have a King card, but it's fine because the shield won't actually apply to Escanor. I feel like Dian's Relic lost for three turns. Because I've still got it. And my taunt was two turns. And yeah, I've still got it afterwards. For like that turn, I guess. Even the turn disappears, I still get it. Uh, and then we'll just do this to finish the job. This will kill Asgunaut. And now this should kill. Overall, what I learned is that this king team isn't too bad. Purgatory melee isn't too bad. Escanor's probably not the best, because I just feel like Escanor... He needs to create he's a crit-based character. Well, you can say Melee's a crit-based character, but he has a lot of like he's got damage reduction, he's got his uh, attack attack rate his stat increase, which will just increase his stats by a lot. And it's almost like a one-shot kill, but so is Escanor's, but I just feel like Escanor is more of a uh, a hindrance. Which is he did perform better with Bon. I do think Bon is definitely a big plus to this team, because you get of course you get damage reduction, you get the HP increase. You've got Zeldristan back, who's definitely a big help lowering their attack when they're debuffed, which is it's always good. But overall, I do think Deanne's Relic, it makes a decent impact, but I think that on PvE, it'd make a bigger impact because the, the buff's grey. So maybe on, I don't know, if they had a new Demonic Beast, Deanne might be somewhat good for it. Or I think there was a team that did use Queen Deanne for the, for the new Demonic Beast, so it might be useful then for the 30% extra for two turns. Because in theory, then you can play three extra cards afterwards. Anyway, not too bad though. Uh, this video was a pain one to record because I kept bursting bomb teams for about an hour straight. But apart from that, it's all good. Thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.